How's it going? This is Brian from Chains is Good. In this video, we're going to go through a $200 bag of nickels. That's 4,000 nickels. Let's get this bag open and get started. That sure is a nice pretty pile. We'll be looking for V-nickels, Buffalo nickels, Silver Wartime nickels, anything from the 30s, 40s, and 50s, foreign coins, NIFCs, proofs, and varieties such as double dies or replacement marks. When this pile disappears, I'll be back with a recap of the finds. All right, the bag is done. Unfortunately, we had no V-nickels, Buffalo nickels, or Silver Wartime nickels, but we did have eight Canadian nickels, and they range from 1972 through 1978. Now, here's where it gets interesting. We have a 1938, a pair of 1939s, 1948, a pair of 1949s, a pair of 1951s, and four 1955s. These all have potential because they could be semi-key or key dates. I have not checked the reverses of these coins for mint marks yet, so... We'll do that at the end of the video. Why not save the best for last? Now here are the finds in the 40s. We have a stack of 1940 Philadelphias, a 1940D, some 1941 Philadelphias, 1941Ds, 1941S with a small s, not the variety. We have a 1942P, 1946P, not a Henny nickel, 1947P, and 1947D. Now here are the finds in the 50s, and as you can see, there are a lot of them. We have 1952P, 52D, 53D, 53S, 54P, 54D, 56D, 57D, 58P, 58D, 59P, and 59D. Now I'll show you a few things under the scope. Up first, we have a 1958D with a repunched mint mark. You can see splitting at the top left and bottom left of the D. This is WRPM number 14 on Wexler's DoubleDot.com. Speaking of repunched mint marks, here we have a 1962D with splitting here at the top left corner of the mint mark. This is WRPM number one on Wexler's DoubleDot.com. Now here we have a variety. We have the reverse of a 2008P with doubling here at the top left corner of the central doorway. This is WDDR number six on Wexler's DoubleDot.com. Last up, we have the reverse of a 2016P. As you can see, there's a die chip here inside the letter O, but that's not all. If you go over here to this side of the coin, you can see a rim-to-rim -rim die break causing what's called a cud, or a raised area on the coin where a piece of the die actually broke off. This is a pretty cool find. Now let's have some fun. Here we have a 1938. If there's a mint mark, it's a key date. Bust on that one. Let's go to the 39s. Here we have the 39s. I've already weighed them and they're not hitting nickels, but this is in pretty good shape, so there's a good chance it's got a mint mark. Let's see what we get. Philly, it's all right. One more chance. Got a ring of death on the back. And no mint mark. All right. Let's do the next ones. Here we have the 1948. If there's an S mint mark, it's a semi-key date. Not the best shape, but we'll see what we get. A Denver. I got close. We're still 0 for 4. Now, here we have the 1949s. If they have an S mint mark, they're also a semi-key date. Philadelphia. And a Philadelphia. All right, the 51s are next. Now, here we have the 1951s. If there's an S mint mark, they're a semi-key date. Philadelphia. And Philadelphia is not going well. Here we have our last four chances. We have the 1955s. If there's no mint mark, they're a semi-key date. Let's hope. The so Denver. Three chances left. Denver. Last two chances. Denver, all right, will this be an epic failure? Let's find out together. Denver, well, that's how it goes sometimes. Now, even though we didn't find any V-nickels, Buffalo nickels, or Silver Wartime nickels, this was the most productive bag I've ever had in regards to 1930s through the 1950s finds. We had a total of 70 finds from 1938 through 1959. That's by far a record for me. My favorite find was this 2016P with a cut here on the reverse. 
It's not a large cut, but it's the first one I've ever found on a nickel. Pretty cool. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content and made you want to raid your local bank's coin machine, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any feedback or questions about any of these finds, just leave me a comment and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Thanks again. And remember, every coin has a story. And sometimes it just seems there are too many stories to choose from. I'll see y'all next time.